So this is Scotland. In the first video, we viewed destinations like Edinburgh and the Orkney Islands, and some stunning lochs. But now it's part two. So let's take a look at 10 beautiful places to visit in Scotland. And if you do like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Number one, the Isle of Mull. Located in the picturesque Inner Hebrides in Scotland, the Isle of Mull is the complete package for tourists who love adventure and nature. You can visit the charming town of Tobermory, with its coloured houses and independent businesses and explore miles of stunning coastline. But no matter what the Isle of Mull weather is like, you can experience the perfect island escape. To the west of Mull there are some exciting discoveries to be made, such as the tiny enchanting Isle of Iona, which is a peaceful haven where you can discover one of Scotland's geological wonders, on a boat trip to Staffa. Or visit the wonderful beach in Calgary, on the Isle of Mull, which has one of the best beaches in Scotland. If it's nature that you want, and stunning beaches, then the Isle of Mull should be on your list. Number 2. Cairngorm National Park One of Scotland's two national parks, Cairngorm National Park sits within the country's northeast region. It's easily one of the best things to do in the Scottish Highlands. The park is a true mountain wilderness, home to five out of the six Scotland's highest peaks, and four out of the ten of the highest in Britain. It also boasts some of the most beautiful lochs and rivers, native forests, farmland and moorland, as well as being a stronghold for Scotland's wildlife. There are miles upon miles of trails, and a wonderful choice of a destination to be on this list. Number 3. Bowfiddle Rock Located just off the coast at Port Lockie, Bowfiddle Rock is an incredible natural formation, formed by the sheer force of waves alone. Over time, the pressure of the waves in the North Sea have sculpted this popular landmark into its unique bow-shaped formation, which makes for a great photo opportunity. So this is a beautiful place to go on holiday for those of you who are keen explorers kayakers or even hikers. I suggest you spend the night in Cullen and then plan to capture this scene at sunset and you will feel as if it's your own amphitheatre. Number 4. Shetland Islands The Shetland Islands are irresistible, a blend of Scottish and Nordic cultures. It's set just outside the northernmost tip of the British Isles, hidden in the North Sea. The Shetland Archipelago is Britain's most distant and its most starkly stunning clutch of islands, famous for its unspoiled beaches, diverse wildlife and of course the archaeological sites. So why would you visit? Well, there are very few places in the UK that feel as immediately Viking as Shetland, with a Norse-inspired place names give you that immediate sense of a long Scandinavian influence. The landscape provides pure geological and natural drama, so it's a place for real adventure. Number 5. Castle Stalker Two of the most fascinating and romantic things are either castles and islands. Now imagine a place that is a combination of both of those very things. That place is the four-storey tower called Castle Stalker. So 
situated off the beautiful west coast of Scotland. This island's castle's picturesque placement, standing tall, is set against a dramatic backdrop of mountains, and it's made it into something of a cliché image of the Highlands. To be frankly honest, Castle Stalker is entirely authentic, and it's easily one of the best preserved medieval tower houses in Scotland. The view alone is just another reason why you would need to go to these must-see places in the Scottish Highlands. Number 6. Ben Nevis and Fort William Standing at over 1,344 metres, Ben Nevis is the highest peak in the United Kingdom and is the mountain that all visiting climbers want to conquer. Now many base themselves at the nearby town Fort William to give them a few days to explore the imposing peak and its tranquil neighbour, Glen Nevis. So if you're considering tackling the climb, just make sure you go fully prepared. Number 7. The Kurang. Now this is the kind of place that leaves you breathless, and not just because you have to trek uphill. The craggy landscape looks like something from a magical realm. It's a great walk for hikers as it passes through some of the most spectacular landscapes in Scotland. As part of the Trotternish Ridge, it has been formed by a massive landslip, which has created high cliffs, hidden plateaus and pinnacles of rock. Now the Kurang is situated in the north of Skye, and the walk is in a loop, returning you back to the same point. And it's on this list because there are even more places to see in this region. Number 8. The Old Man of Stor. The Old Man of Stor is situated in the north of the Isle of Skye, famous for its magnificent scenery and its views. Now the Old Man of Stor is a large standing formation of rock, which is part of the Trotternish Ridge, created by a massive ancient landslide, like I mentioned for the Kurang, leaving one of the most photographed landscapes in the world. It's definitely changed beyond belief since my first visit as a kid. The path is still steep, the views are still stunning, and the sense of achievement on reaching the base of the Stor is still exhilarating. It takes roughly about an hour and 20 minutes without any stops, and the path going and coming back is still the same. Number 9. Kilchun Castle Now although this castle isn't perfectly intact, Kilchun Castle still packs a very photogenic punch. The ancient ruined building sits majestically on a rocky peninsula at the northeastern tip of Loch Or in the Argyll and Butte region. So it was built in the mid-1400s as the base of the mighty Campbells of Glenochy for 150 years and it wasn't abandoned until the 1700s but today it sits perfectly framed by its truly stunning surroundings and yes it is very well worth the visit especially if you're touring around the beautiful highlands. You can get a train actually from Glasgow all the way to Loch Orr so don't worry if you're not travelling there by car.
Number 10. Wallace Monument. Now this may not be on every Scots list, but I still think it's an outstanding landmark and one of Stirling's most striking visits. It commemorates the life of Sir William Wallace, the Patriot and Martyr who came to be saluted as Scotland's national hero. Now inside the monument you'll find yourself transported back to the 13th century as you discover the story of the warrior who led the Scottish army to victory at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. So point to note, there is a shuttle bus that you can take up the hill if you don't fancy the walk. Seeing as there are over 200 steps broken up by exhibition floors. But I have to tell you the views are stunning. And there you have it folks, that was part two of The Wonderful Scotland. I highly recommend you do visit this country if you've never visited before. For more videos, check out the playlist below and Scotland also in part one. Thanks for watching and as always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.